I guess you arrive at the school thinking you're a screenwriter and they pretty much kick that idea out of the room on day one when you sit there with a group of other people who also think they're screenwriters and you realise, oh my god, these people are incredibly talented and suddenly you find yourself looking what you've written and realising that there's so much more you can do and so much more you can be. Um, there's a really brilliant atmosphere of collaboration amongst the screenwriters and the filmmakers as well. Um, but there is also an element of competition there, which is great because it forces you to become a better writer. You know, when you're looking at someone else's work and you're seeing, oh my God, I can't believe I didn't think of that idea. I can't believe that never occurred to me. And then it, I'm sure it's exactly the same. I mean, hopefully when other people read my stuff that they also feel a certain sense of, God, that's something interesting that I wouldn't have done or thought of. I mean, we are in a school environment. I mean, it's the London Film School. We're all here on a learning curve. So I think coming here is really a, a great experience for anyone who kind of thinks that they have more to do and to learn and to be. Mentoring's great because you have an industry professional who's giving up their, their time uh, to come and talk to you. Um, and there's just no bullshit, you know? They're gonna give you their honest opinion as someone who's like out there working. And they'll take your script and they'll gut it, but it's um, a really constructive situation to be in because you realize that even if you have a 90 page document that suddenly becomes a 20 page document after revisions, that you still have something in there, you still have this grain of what's gonna become eventually, hopefully, a film, you know? I mean, they're not giving up their time for, for no reason. They're there because they actually think you have some talent, you have something that you can like possibly make or sell, you know? I think we, everyone at school wants to go on and be industry professionals. So actually getting to interact with these people is just amazing. I mean, that's just actually one of the great things about the school, the opportunities to like, not just become colleagues, but friends. And you know, no one wants to work with someone they don't like, you know? And in this environment we're in, you know, it's, it's great that you meet people and you think, yeah, and you talk about film. We talk about films all the time. And you're like, yeah, I love that film and stuff. And you create these really great uh, bonds with people. Um, but like I said, there's also a certain amount of competition going into the school. So if you have an idea that you want someone to work on or work with on, and uh, then you really need to learn how to sell it. And you can't be the shy retiring type. You know, this is a postgrad, and people coming to the school should ex like get used to that idea that you can be that quiet guy in the corner for the entire nine months or however long the course is, or you can from day one decide that every day here I want to try and do something with it. I don't want to waste it. It's not cheap to come here. You know, don't waste your opportunity. It's a funny, funny place. I mean, it's a funny world. I mean, we're losing tech jobs to India and we're losing heavy industry to China, but still people want films made in this country. It's a growing industry, you know? And yeah, you can be the, the son or daughter or cousin of a producer or a director, you know? But what I've learned from this school is that if you're willing to put in the work and put in the effort, this is an industry where you can get places, you know? And that's what you learn at this school because I honestly see, saw my time here as less of a, an academic experience and more of an apprenticeship, you know, because they're basically creating the next generation of filmmakers and screenwriters, you know, and you learn from not only the people here, but the, uh, the graduates who come in and talk to us and the industry professionals we meet, that if you want it and you work at it and you put in the time, you put in the effort, then it's yours and all you have to do is go out there and take it. It's brilliant, but you know, we should close the borders because these guys are just much too talented. I don't honestly need the competition from this incredibly rich mix of people who are just brilliant. And uh, like I said, it's a part of you growing as a filmmaker is just being around so many different people. I think it's 70% at the moment from all over the world, you know, and it just like opens your eyes up to not just like possibilities and markets where you yourself could go and work but people that you can work with over here and what you can offer them as a filmmaker working and living in in this country you know and I love the fact that now I have friends all over the world that if I was ever working in Toronto or Mumbai or something like that I'd have someone I could ring who's working in that industry there now and it's just brilliant.